This is a prototype system we are working on. <laughs> we are developing a network of tangible and connected objects to visualize an ecosystem. It's a physical ecosystem which can be manipulated and transformed thanks to an augmented interface. <laughs> what we're doing here is looking at different ideas and characters and context and we combine them, we try to build a system and putting them together into an appealing story. We think that ideas need to be spread for innovation to happen. Donc pour les besoins d'un film du studio, on a choisi de réaliser des cartons en stop motion. Un process assez simple qui consiste à enregistrer, à shooter en photo les différentes étapes de l'animation. C'est rapide à mettre en œuvre mais très long à préparer. Nous avons finalement eu recours à une des méthodes les plus anciennes d'animation pour illustrer un des process les plus modernes d'innovation. On réunit les experts et les designers autour de la table. Après, un petit warm-up pour mettre les gens à l'aise et créer cet esprit d'équipe. Et surtout aider ces gens à mieux confronter leurs idées. On met en place une méthodologie de workshop que nous avons créée qui s'appelle TTAT. Today, tomorrow and after tomorrow. Pour créer ensemble des scénarios du futur. I'm creating what is called a matte painting. This technique was originally developed for stage design in the movie industry. Um, for example, Star Wars illustrations, which were made by Sinmid, they're rather famous and they've influenced a lot of designers. This way of drawing actually grew a lot with the digital revolution. And car designers today use it to illustrate their designs in their environment. Do you guys know design thinking? It's a user-centered approach to innovation we are using every day at the design studio. We have reasons to believe design thinking could benefit from a dialogue with systems engineering. Linking our complementary methodologies could have a great impact on how we do consulting and how our clients tackle innovation. That's why we're currently working with Katia Systems to explore new applications for the 3D experience platform and applying some of our thinking in clients' projects. This tool would enable collaborative system design, helping companies make better quality systems and reduce risks. This will be the next tool made in Design Studio. <laughs> 
So we started cracking by asking the question, what would a sustainable transportation system look like in the future? What would be the material used? What could be the ID material? And could this material be in adequation with its time and environment? So we spent time seeking existing solutions that would respond to the challenges and basically ended up building a car made out of seaweed, aka algae-based bioplastic materials. From that point, we used Dassault system tools, such as Katia, to build a 3D prototype going through diverse methods of rendering, including the latest 3D Excite solutions. Then we composed everything together to create this artwork, and that's about it.